Amazing. I want to thank God, my family, my supporters, my great attorney, CJ Grisham. It feels amazing to have the ankle monitor off and have my freedom back. Yeah, what went through your mind while the ankle monitor was being turned off with your foot? It was exciting. I don't have to plug in at night, two hours a night. You know, uh, I don't have my curfews anymore. Not on house arrest. And um, the big question is, um, do you, are you going to continue to protest? That's to be seen, yes. Uh, there's a lot of corruption out there that needs to be addressed, needs to be addressed the right way, and I intend on exposing the leaders that need to be exposed. And um, while you were sitting there, I saw you all were huddled for a prayer before the verdict was heard. Mm -hmm. um, what was going through your mind while you were awaiting the verdict? I was a little nervous, I was confident, but not overly confident. So uh, my attorney wanted to do it to get us together, uh, pray, so we did, and it felt good. And how do you feel that Attorney Christian did? Felt amazing. You know, I didn't, I didn't know he'd do that, and he just brought everybody together. We prayed, and everything went the way the Lord wanted it to go. And um, what do you have to say to um, people you were protesting, the, the city of Adelaide, the leaders here, and the, the corruption? What do you have to say about all that? I want to say that it's time that there's a shakeup here in Abilene, just like there's a shakeup in Washington, D.C. It's time for some things to change yeah. in a positive way. And uh, the citizens of Abilene are tired of it. They can see through it. And uh, we need change here. And um, how have these past couple of months been for you as far as your stress? It's been very stressful. You know, wearing the ankle monitor, uh, leading up to the case. Uh, it's been stressful. And now that you know that, um, Celebrate. Going to Disneyland. Disneyland. <laughs> Celebrate. And what do you have to say to one of our community Christian? He did an outstanding good job. Um, very proud of him. Um, I had a good client. You know, it's easy to defend an innocent man, and that's what it is. It's an innocent man. Um, I will say this is not over. The city came after Mr. Pugh. We're going to go after the city. These corrupt politicians are not going to get away with this. They are not going to abuse their power. They knew and should have known that Mr. Pugh was engaged in constitutionally protected activity. And they pulled us into court. We're pulling them into court. Can you let us know what is next? Yeah, uh, Mr. Hanna, just be looking out in your mailbox. All right, and what do you have to say to all of your supporters? I just want to thank everybody for your support through all of it from the beginning back in January of 2023 all the way up to now. Uh, you guys have been great and I appreciate it. And um, you've explained it um, a lot of times while you were out protesting, but can you explain to everyone exactly what were you protesting? I was protesting the corruption. It started out with Rise Church. Um, there were some things that happened there that uh, weren't right that involved rape, abuse, uh, modern day slavery within the men's home. I took it to the city, the city didn't want to listen, so that's when I began to protest and that's when I got pushed back from Robert Hanna and the other corrupt officials on the city council. And what was your goal of protesting in front of the panel? Uh, my goal was to get attention to the public, a peaceful protest. That's why my firearm was in the back of the truck to where nobody could see it. And that was for my live Facebook audience to draw attention to my protest and get more people on board and let the citizens of Abilene uh, become aware of what's really going on because there's a lot of people blind to all the corruption. Was your intention ever to bring anyone? Absolutely not. Are there anything else you want to add? No, ma'am. CJ, you got anything? I just want to say I hope this puts every city official and government official on notice that the First Amendment is alive in Abilene, regardless of what they think, and that if anybody else has got issues with this city and them coming after them and using them as some sort of bludgeoning tool for standing up for themselves, call me. Oh, honestly, I was at peace. I had so much peace. God had given me so much peace. And the reason for that is because I believe that uh, my husband had been put on an assignment and he was obedient to God. He followed through and God was going to see him through. I had the most peace. I got a bit emotional when they said uh, not guilty because God is so good. Um, how do you feel about the verdict? <laughs> Overwhelmed. That's, I mean, yeah, now we can uh, move forward 
and uh, my husband, you know, doesn't have all these crazy bond conditions, and we can live our lives as we please now. So. And what message do you have to your husband? Um, oh, I'm just, I'm so, so, oh, so proud of him. Um, he uh, is always just going to uh, fight for what he believes is right, and um, that's exactly what he did and that's what he will continue to do and i'm so proud of him because uh i don't know of anyone else that would have done such a thing so thank you, thank you.